Okay, this here is a 2009 Keystone Springdale. Kind of a destination or park model trailer. Um, it's about 38 feet long, weighs about 8,000 pounds, and this is a bunkhouse trailer. Currently set up to sleep nine with the front bunkhouse. Um, as you can see, it has patio doors, uh, separate master bedroom, large bathroom. We'll kind of walk around and go through it a little better, show you how to use some of the features, um, show you any bumps and bruises, which it does have some. Um, overall, it seems to be a pretty solid trailer for the year. Um, everything works as it should. It's already winterized, um, so we can't go through and show you any of the plumbing, but we did get a chance to test it all before we winterized it, and everything checked out just fine. So with that being said, the front of this trailer has a power tongue jack operated just by pressing the button here to raise and lower it. Comes with two propane tanks, 30 pounders, and a 12 volt battery. You can see the frame looks to be really clean. Doesn't really appear to have any rust. It's going to be a little dirty this time of the year. It's too cold outside to wash them. You can see the decals are peeling off. Pretty normal for a camper of this age. Nice large front pass-through storage. Does have stabilizer jacks on the corner. Real large awning, looks to be about a 20 footer roughly. Again, patio doors in the front living entrance. Tires are in great condition, a little dirty, but uh, they're in great shape. No dry rot, lots of tread. Six gallon gas electric water heater. Private entrance for the rear master bedroom. We'll check that out in a little bit. See a dent in the back corner right there. I'm gonna climb up the ladder here and show you the roof. The roof is really solid. You can see along the right hand side where they have a patch, so they must have maybe trimmed a tree branch or something, but it still feels real solid. It doesn't leak or anything like that. It's been recently resealed. Okay, climb back down. Privacy glass in all the windows. You can see it's been resealed right in this corner here. Probably because I do see there's damage right around the side here, so it probably popped off that trim. But you can see I had a dent right there. Must have. Probably turned to the side and the back end swung out. I've seen that same damage pretty often. See the slide out seals are in great condition. 30 amp electrical service. Dump station back here. Outdoor shower. It's gonna be a little loud, we're by the generator now. Your water connections for city water and fresh water. Access compartment for the front bunkhouse. Okay, we'll head on inside. Shut the doors. It's got a real nice layout with a large slide out. Let me back up for a second. When you first walk in, you'll see the living room and kitchen to the left. Entertainment center to the right. And then this is the best part. Private door to the quad bunkhouse. 
see the ceiling looks to be in real good condition. Storage for the bunks. Thermostats on the wall here. I'm gonna just turn the heat on, get that going in here. Couch pulls out into a bed. The dinette also folds down into a bed. It's got an oversized oven. Stove top here to light it. You just put it to the light position and go ahead and light your burners. Everything works great. I just heard the furnace kick in, so we should have heat now. And we do shut that off. When you want to shut that off, just come over here and turn it to the off position or turn the temperature down. It's got rooftop air conditioning. It does work, however, it's too cold to fire that up right now. It won't kick in with the temperatures being where they're at. Large sink. This is great. Full size refrigerator. Not just a camper fridge. See in there. Two hands here. It's got safety locks on it for travel or to keep the little ones out. Your tank gauges and water pump are on the wall in the corner here. Walking into the back here. Not just a pocket door or a curtain it has an actual door separating the bathroom and then when you come into the bathroom there's a mini tub and shower behind there there's storage and the toilet and then large storage here you could probably actually put a washer and dryer in here it's not actually plumbed for it but there's definitely room you'd have to just run the plumbing to it sink here privacy door here to the master bedroom and in this room here this bed is also a slide out looks to be a queen size bed drawers and hanging area underneath the bed there's also storage I just can't show you with one hand here TV in the corner this here is your slide out button to power the bedroom slide out you can see there is rooftop venting and floor heating for the bedroom, so even when the doors are closed, you'll get HVAC in the back room here. Down here is your power center that has all your breakers and fuses in it. Walking back up just to try to give you one more look around. Looks like it has Blu-ray DVD. AM, FM. And that should be it.